Good morning, folks. We're starting off the coast of Northern California, largest earthquake to hit the west coast of the U.S. in years. It was more than 50 miles offshore, a few miles below the seabed, and structures in this area are built to shake, but if that quake had been closer to land, there could have been some major effects. Boys in event mode showing that we may have a few inches of tsunami resulting. That's unnoticeable and no cause for concern. Our focus turned to this area last night when Colombia kept the regional uptick going followed by Mexico a few hours later and then the 6.9 further north in the early hours of this morning. Tropical storms near northern Australia, Vanuatu and north of the Kermadec Islands. They're in a set with a stronger lows way to the south, but the precipitable water overlay demonstrates the flood power of those named systems to the north. and Their tracks keep changing as well. Much of the same story in Europe. Take that drive to the Arctic from days ago. The cutoff of the same from one low that stole the show, and today we're somewhere in the middle. You can tell that the North Atlantic storm is still confining most of the heat and moisture to its system on the eastern lead, but there's definitely a powerful drive off the edge of that north flow up into the Arctic. North America has no severe weather threats. We do still have Pacific moisture funneled in to drop white across the Rockies, but the heat and northward drive from the Gulf will clear the way for most of the east. Maybe have some thunder tonight in the deep south. Looking at the cosmic ray data, we're seeing a little drop-off here. Lower space radiation confirmed at the McMurdo readings. This likely took place as the dense shock circled our planet, acting as a shield layer to the cosmic background. But while not affecting Earth too much, the speed never ramped. No geomagnetic disturbance yet, but the metrics are taking a bit of a dive as we speak. Solar flaring? making a charge. It's those spots developing still. Resolution is in and out on the SDO, but we're catching enough glimpses to know that positive and negative umbral mixing is a bit more than possible in multiple active regions, including the incoming limb. A bit to my surprise, the coronal fields opened up a good bit down south last night, exposing Earth to the most powerful coronal hole we've seen in geo-effective position for months. Equatorial bit is moderately powerful as well. Both are easy to see in 211 angstroms. Closing notes. This is one of the biggest deviations from normal I've seen yet on the ionosphere vertical delay. Keep watch. New solar polar fields update from Stanford. North needs to be positive before solar maximum ends and it's on its way. While south indeed should be negative, it's going back the wrong way now. Lastly, I've been mentioning the mobile observatory project. My wife and I have worked very hard. Additionally, this channel embodies dedication and follow through if nothing else. So now we're going to follow a dream. The daily news stays. The website and premium content stays. But we're going to do it from all over the country with enhanced observation and monitoring capabilities and hopefully a handshake and a smile with a lot of you folks along the way. Can't wait to see you. We're going no matter what but I'll be launching a Kickstarter campaign to try to take the project to a whole nother level. Now, those things use Facebook to show popularity and things like that. So, while the collective page is still the official Facebook page of this YouTube channel, I would like to invite you guys to friend me personally as well, as it will help the observatory project get going. I will not be using the message feature on Facebook, I get enough of those here. You can always still message me here on YouTube or through the website. Project mission, preliminary budget, lots of other information at observatoryproject.com. I will keep you posted on the tour schedule and the Kickstarter launch. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.